Now let's take a look at how to measure barometric pressure. This little breakout board for the BMP 180 has temperature and barometric pressure readings. It's sensitive to 9,000 meters above sea level to negative 500 meters below sea level. It outputs data in hectopascals or pascals for short. And we are going to look at how we can convert that to get some even more useful data out of this fun little piece of electronics. So first thing to do, let's hook it up. You can see I've already soldered in this male header pin here. It's five pins, but we're not even gonna use all five. We're just gonna use four. And I will go ahead and plug them into rows one through five on my breadboard. And if you look closely at the board, you will see very easily ground. And we'll connect that to the ground of my Arduino. And you'll also see voltage in, V in, and we'll connect that to, most importantly here, 3.3 volts, not five volts. Then we have two more wires. The SCL, that's the clock signal, that's gonna go to analog five. And we have the SDA, that is going to go to analog four. So that is all you need to do to hook up and read barometric pressure and temperature with this little breakout board. Now let's go take a look at the code. Now, just like many of the sensors I've shown you, there are libraries and that's why we love Arduino. We don't really care too much about how they work. What we just want is the data. And this is going to provide us with very easy to use data. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Arduino software. Okay, now we have the sketch open. Let's go to include library manage libraries, and then you're gonna look for, in this case, well, it's updating my installed libraries, Adafruit BMP, and it's right here. Now you see there's no install library because I've already installed it because I did some testing beforehand. Now, if you haven't installed it, just click install, and I like to reset the Arduino. Technically, you don't have to all the time, but go ahead and do that. So my library is installed. Once it's installed, you can go to File, Examples, BMP085 Library. Here's the test. We'll close it. Do a quick verify. And let's now plug in my Arduino board. Make sure that we have the Uno. Perfect, and then port, uno, perfect. Let's upload it. We look right here, the lights are blinking, and it's happy, it's uploaded. Let's open up the serial monitor. Okay, I'm going to turn off the auto scroll so we can look at some of the data here. Temperature, 28.4, I can measure that on my multimeter here. Yep, that just about matches. Pressure, 100,379 pascals. Altitude, 79.6 meters. That's what the sensor thinks it is. And then pressure at sea level, 1379 pascals. And the real altitude, 93.59. So here's my challenge for you. And I want you to pause this video in just a second. Take a look at the code and the comments because this is very common with Arduino. There'll be certain things you need to adjust in the code so that it works for your particular situation. What I'm going to challenge you to do is how can I use this barometric pressure sensor to calculate your current altitude? So go ahead and pause the video right now, take a look at that code and come back in a few minutes. Okay, hopefully you figured it out. And if you haven't figured it out, let's walk through what the solution to this problem is. So I asked you to figure out how can I get a reliable altitude measurement out of this sensor? And the answer is fairly simple. If I look at the code right here, I can scroll down and in the loop, on, in my case at line 56, you can see there's some comments here to get precise measurement of altitude. We need to know what the current Pascal is for the current weather conditions in your area. Now, how do you do that? Well, unfortunately, Barometric pressure is measured so many different ways, but here's a great place to find the information if you live in the US, weather.gov. The National Weather Service is really handy. So if I hit New York, 
it will actually give me a nice reading of millibars. And millibars are really easy to convert into Pascals. All I'm gonna do is copy this. And if we just go in any search, right now it's 10, 10.1 millibars, and I do equals HPA, you will see it's actually, wow, how binary is that? 101010. And if I go in here and I change this little code and upload it, see that's uploading and let's take a look at the serial monitor. Now it's adjusted my real altitude to 53 0.34 meters. If I raise this up, you should actually be able to see it because it's within 0.25 meter accuracy. Oh, that's 54 and then 53.5. And that's how you would calculate precisely your altitude using barometric pressure with built-in temperature sensing.